Hey, I'm Scotty T from your comedy minute. I am with Jay the Funny Man. Jay, how are you? Man, I'm good, Scotty. What's going on, man? Are you are you in Florida? Is that where you're at? You better believe it. The Sunshine State. Were you were you born and raised in Florida? Born and raised right in Central Florida. Okay. Uh, you know, I actually been I've been to Marathon, Florida. Okay, I know, down I know what that is. Down in the Florida Keys. Yep. My parents lost everything Hurricane Donna many, many years ago. That's how I ended up here in Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was that was a while ago. A while ago. Yeah, a long ago. time ago. Mm-hmm. Right long before you and I. Well, I wasn't born. I definitely wasn't born. I, I know damn well you weren't born. Well, let's talk. Um, you're a comedian. How long have you been doing comedy? I've been a damn fool all my life, to be honest with you. But professionally, <laughs> professionally, I've been I've been in it for about a year and a half, man, going on two years. Okay, now. and you have some. You are really making some traction. I just saw you had a post. You're doing a gig on a cruise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, coming up, yes. I'll actually leave. Uh, I'm leaving in a, in, a, in a, about a week or two. Another another two weeks, I'll be I'll be headed out. Um, it's just, man, I stuck my foot out trying to. You know, trying to trying to step out on 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 faith, man. I'm a faith based person, and just just to see like where comedy would take me. And, and ever since I did yeah. that, man, the doors have just been swinging open, swinging open, and I'm I'm glad to walk through them. Okay, you right? Yeah, sure, sure. So so you started what did you say two years ago? Two years ago, uh, December ninth, December ninth, twenty twenty two. I did my first official comedy show. Okay, and and what inspired you to do it? Wanting to just everybody constantly telling me like, man, you funny. You should try. You should right. try. You know, I've always wanted to try. Like I thought it was something I could do and I wanted to try it, um, you know, because it's, it's nothing that I want to do that I'm not going to try. And it's just when I tried it that first time, the, the love and the admiration I got. And I was just like, damn, that, do this shit. Like, that, that's me. That's, I feel like was, I'm in a whole other lane. Right. That's what I wanted to ask that first time. I've been doing these for a while. And. A lot of people tell me that first time, you know, I pissed myself. I got sick beforehand or whatever. I was so terrified. But after it was over, I said, when can I do it again? I, I went out there my first time ready. Like, I, I prepared okay. myself. I, I, I prepared myself for the worst, but okay. I, I knew it was going to be the best. You know, and after okay. I got off stage, like, the other comedians, they were like, and they put me on first that show. So this is my first show ever, and they put me on first. So I'm like, okay. oh, my but nobody, nobody could tell that that was my first time ever doing it. Like, was, nobody, that, they were like was, that, was that in your hometown there in Florida? Yes. Yeah, it was in my hometown here in Florida. And do you, do you have, uh, did you have a lot of your friends and family there supporting you? Um, actually, yeah, man. Um, that was my, my very first show, man. It, it meant the world to me because my mom was there and oh, how God, yes. I was known. And literally, literally two months after I did that show, my mom passed away. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, so my mom was able to see me do my first show. So my first okay. show is always going to hold a special place in my heart. God bless. Um, I also had a couple siblings there, and, you know, so yeah. it, it meant a lot. Yeah. So do you feel now, two years later, obviously you're going on a cruise. Uh, I saw you have, you know, some other stuff coming up. Do you feel like it's getting better over the, you know, does each show get better? I think I get better every time um, because now it's like I'm, I'm able to memorize my jokes and I'm able to like put things together. And then I'm also able to go off of things that I have already and see something different. So it's like every show I, I get better and I get better and I get better. Good, and good. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm loving every minute of coming. Every well, single. And, and uh, you know, I just, I've done three of these today. Okay. And there's, the stand-up part but then there's the whole other part that you're doing that i want to talk about where you're making these videos and god they are funny videos and that's a whole different you know, it's like you know two different things mm -hmm. because you know i have here you, you know your youtube channel you have 24 subscribers 12 videos 2456 views but i think you also have tiktok instagram any of those yeah, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, okay. all of that stuff is is uh boom. I, I actually just went uh I just went viral on Facebook uh last week for okay. one of my videos, which is 
which is a blessing. So it's like I'm, is that, I'm just is that starting. The, is that the boy fake boyfriend mechanic video? Fake boyfriend mechanic. Uh, yeah, fake boyfriend that's mechanic. A, that's a three. That's a three part video on YouTube. Three part. Three parts was on it, YouTube. Uh, so was Facebook. there one? Which part went viral on Facebook? Part two. Part two went viral. Two. Uh, I, I I posted them back to back to back, and okay. so I don't know what it was about part two. They just went crazy. Do you, uh, mind, do you mind telling the people the numbers on like? Because I find it very interesting. I've been doing it four years, and mm -hmm. I remember the first time one of my shorts went to one hundred and six thousand. I thought, "Oh my god, I'm a star!" You know. Yeah. And then on Instagram, one of my jokes went to three hundred thousand recently. Yeah, I'm at I'm at like a hundred. It's like uh, what a hundred and eighty one thousand uh. Right views and things right now so it, it, it's making traction it's making traction I just, isn't, it I weird, isn't it weird when that happens yeah it came from out of nowhere because i posted it and i'm wondering why i keep getting dinged and right, on your like, phone oh. your phone just keeps going off yeah, so i look and i'm like okay it's <laughs> like it's a, oh your reel just hit 500 you know, it's, just, it's just plus it's nine just plus hit. 10 it's plus yeah and I keep refreshing. I'm in. I'm in my car. I keep yeah, refreshing. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Every time I refresh, the number just. I'm like, oh shit! Oh, like, shit. It, it was me and my manager. We were on the phone, and he's like, bro, do you not see what's going on? I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's like, we made it. I'm like, yeah, we making it. Can I tell you? Can I, was, I tell you? That was, that was a blessing all in his own. So I was excited for that. Can I tell you real quick my story about that? Because you said it came out of nowhere. As you know, I do, you've probably seen some, I do quickies every day, I do long form, I do lives, I do these. But one of my quickies was actually up on Instagram for I think two weeks, two or three weeks. And just what you described, my phone was, you know, damn, plus nine, bam, you know, it just keeps going off and going off. And within, I went from, you know, a couple hundred followers to 3,000 followers. And, you know, everything just blows up and you just can't, you're like, what the hell's going on? And I feel like I need to do the joke for you. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Should I, do, should I do it? Yeah, I let's go. All right, here we go. And, and, and the reason I think the joke hit is because the sign of the times of what's going on, which is real important. If I had a nickel for every racist thing I ever said, some Mexican would probably rob me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and part of that was delivery, and you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, my delivery, and you know, the pause. Or, I didn't, didn't deliver it well there, but it, I just couldn't believe it that that wow. one that one joke, you know, created such a stir. Wow, yeah, that's a good one. That's 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 definitely a good one. I like that. Well, yeah, that's I'll good. do one more because I'll do. Do you want me to do? I'll do two real quick ones because they tie in together. Mm -hmm. I went to the supermarket last week or a couple weeks ago, and this woman, when I came in the next week, she said, "Don't talk to me anymore. I don't like you." And what you said last week, that joke was terrible. And here we go. <laughs> what do you give a dead baby for his birthday? Life, Shit. A dead pipe, a dead puppy. What the hell? <laughs> That's pretty much. So today, I went back in and I doubled down. <laughs> Why did the little girl drop her ice cream cone? What? She got hit by a truck. Oh shit! <laughs> you gonna drop more than a damn ice cream cone? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry. We're coming off the rails. No, it's five, you know it. it's five o'clock. I'm starting to drink, you know. Oh yeah, I haven't. I haven't yet. Uh, I might take me a shot or something after a while. Okay. What? Let me ask you. It, it, you know, it, where do you see? You know what? What's the end goal? Honestly, the end show, goal. movies. Um, I, I, I actually, I do act. Um, I'm in a, I'm in a few plays. Uh, I, I'm in a mini series. Um, I, I want to tell you, I don't really see an end goal. I just want to keep going. Every door that's open for me, 
I want to be able to go through it. I want to. Right. I, I have two. I have two beautiful kids. Um, shout out to them. I want to make sure that my kids are well taken care of. Right. The rest of their lives when I leave here. That's that's well, my goal in general. Driving desire. Yep, my kids. My kids are my driving force. My kids are why I go so hard. My kids are why I cannot stop. Yeah. Well, I just yep. met you again. We we're just meeting now. But you have such energy and drive and desire. I I can't see you not winning. Oh, I'm I've been a winner forever, and 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 that yeah. and winning is what got me on the cruise in the first place. Okay. Yeah, well, winning. Couple, uh, go ahead. No, I because I, I got a couple uh, more. Uh, uh, and, and shout out, shout out to uh, Spunky Robinson, man, a, a really, really, really dope comedian, man. Spunky is is is, is really dope. But uh, I entered his. Uh, he does a. a comedian competition he does a comedy festival every year it's called a punchline king comedy festival okay and um you know i felt i was ready um and basically what you do is just like all the other comedy festivals man you submit and okay. they, they select you or they don't select you and, and they selected right. i was one of the ones selected out of all the comics out of from all across the country and uh from the moment i was picked i just kept telling people like wow they selected me like I, yeah. I'm, I haven't even been in a few. At this time, I had only been in a few months. I had only been in like eight months at that time. You were good. You were good. That's what it was. Yeah. So it was like, wow, they they picked me. So it was like 14 comics that they selected. And right. they were from all over the country, like Atlanta, Los Angeles, right. uh, Ohio, Rhode Island, right, Las right, Vegas, right. everywhere, man. And, and I went in and, and, and I you, just. And you took the prize. You took the and prize. Name, and I won, and, and and the prize was me getting on the cruise uh, along with other bookings uh, to come after the cruise is over. So it, it just helped me to to launch, you know, my career even more. So, right. you know, when I, when I get on this cruise, a lot of people that don't know who Jay the Funny Man is is about to know who Jay the Funny Man is. Just, Good. Just and, 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 Jay, I'm going to do everything I can do to help, okay? Appreciate that. I'd be I proud that maybe I can come and open up for you one day. You better believe it. The old white guy comes and open up for the young black guy. I ain't it'll that be, young. It'll be a hell of a crowd. I just, I just look good as hell. I ain't that young. I'm just fine. That's why the woman hey, love me. Well, now I got to ask you about the side tooth mafia. What's that about? Man, the side tooth mafia, man, that, that's my uh, clip. You got merchandise. We got to tell the people because I'll include all these links, your Instagram, everything. But you have merchandise available too. Absolutely. I'm surprised you don't have a shirt on. No, I, I literally, I just got in the house. I, I thought about it, but okay. I didn't. Oh, no, matter grab fact, one. Grab one. There you go. I don't oh, know if you can see it. You can't see it. Yeah, it, can't got, see the, it. got Oh, well, it got the side tooth mafia. Sir. Matter of fact, hold on. I got you. I got you. Yeah, got take you. your time. I got you. Yeah, show the people. I hey, I did my homework. There you go. It's not focus. Hold on. Let it focus. Uh, it's not going to focus up. Well, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Yeah. Tell, tell, still, the people, not a, yeah. tell the people. That's what it is. is. That's, my, that's, my, that's my brand. The Side Tooth Mafia, that's my click. Um, I'm the founder, president, and, 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 a, and a proud member of the Side Tooth Mafia. And I, and I came up with the Side Tooth Mafia because I came up with it as a joke, actually, because it's something, I don't know what it is, where... Throughout life, everybody seems to be one of the teeth on the side always <laughs> seems to fall out. It all and and you got people at comedy shows, they laughing hard as hell, but they don't want to open their mouth because they're scared somebody gonna see the ozone layer sitting over there in that other side. So that's, that's what, what I think. Embrace it. Embrace it. Ain't, ain't really nothing you can do about it. Embrace it. So side, side to mafia you. is is something that I'm telling everybody, man, embrace that. Don't worry about it. You got me. I'm going to stand in the forefront for everybody that's missing a side tooth, and we're going to take over the world one side tooth at a time. Damn it. <laughs> Better know. Side tooth mafia, man. So if you're missing a side tooth, you are a part of side tooth mafia, and damn it, I'm proud to have you. <laughs> You better believe it. it's a You're movement. Me. Embrace it. You're killing me. Embrace it. Hey, Jay, this is what your comedy minute is supposed to be about. Damn right. You're killing me. You're killing me. Because I, I, when I saw it, you know, and you just, you explained it exquisitely. You explained it perfectly. 
That's that's what it is. And, and you're it's gonna just, grow. There's, there's a lot of side tooth losing mother snaggle tooth motherfuckers. Yeah, it's a lot of there's motherfuckers missing front teeth, side teeth, back teeth. But yeah. you know, I'm I mean, missing the side. Anyone but missing some teeth? If you missing a tooth, <laughs> you a part of the side tooth mafia, <laughs> damn. Step on the fucking head. You a Get part of this, shit, man. <laughs> Embrace <laughs> it. Don't don't hide it. <laughs> be tried and true with that missing motherfucker, man. <laughs> You're going to be the nine to having this lip in his bitch in all of them. In all of them, yeah. That's what I said. You <laughs> cute motherfucker. Shoot the if dice and do this shit for 40 years. I call the dice front and stop rolling. I'm yeah, right. Hey, it, you know, we don't give a damn if you got to chew with your front teeth. Damn it, chew with them motherfuckers and be proud to chew with just the front. Do you know, yeah. do you know the movie Harlem Nights? You better know it. In the beginning, <laughs> take your big ass home and brush that tooth. Yeah, you know it. You lost I got Mr. Too. Raymond's secret. I got Mr. Raymond's secret. Go in the back. I know Go every line. That's my favorite movie in the whole world. I know every line from that movie. From the very beginning. I got Mr. Raymond's secret. Go in the back. Tell that old frog face cow voice dude, take his slow walking ass back there and bring back the money. Otherwise, I'm going to stick your ass. I'm going to stick him, and I'm most definitely going to stick his little janky ass bad luck motherfucker standing here. <laughs> yeah, I know every line. Yeah, I love that movie. Take your movie, take your big ass over and brush that tooth. Yeah, I, that, that's that movie. That's you got me started, man. The side tooth mafia. Side tooth mafia, man. I'm, I'm gonna have to buy a shirt and wear it one night. Believe it, you get you one. I I ship it to you, man. Yeah, you got one yeah, in I baby. Do you have one in the baby elephant size? Baby elephant size. What's that? About a three X? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Absolutely. hey. Actually, I do. Hey, I do. You know what, Jay? I'm like a, an X-rated movie. All my clothes say XXX. <laughs> I'm killing it. I'm killing it, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I actually I go from I go from a small to a three X. So okay. I got every up to a three X. Well, no, I, I have I actually uh I have three different shirts right now. I have the uh I have the side tooth mafia shirt, I have the uh Jay the Funny Man logo shirt. And I had a okay. fuck them kids shirt. Okay. Yeah. So that that's my motto. Fuck them kids. What what is it? Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids, man. Fuck them kids. Oh my God. Fuck them you kids. can't you can't say no damn money. You can't eat like you want to eat. You can't get no pussy. Pump the brakes. Yeah. You're talking about your kids and how you're doing it for the kids. You love the kids. And you got a shirt that says "fuck the kids." Focus. Your sounds dropping in and out, Jay. Say, let me focus. Yo. No, your focus. sound keeps dropping in and out too. Fuck them kids. Oh, I don't know why my sound dropping, but yeah. Fuck that, them that's, kids. That's, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that I think I want to get one of those, Jay. Yeah, fuck them kids. Yeah. I'm doing it for my kids. Listen, one thing I want to tell y'all, I, I love the kids. I love all kids, man. I'm somebody that will do uh anything. I go above and beyond for the kids. But it's it's these kids, it's these new kids nowadays. They they feel like they can say whatever the hell they want to us and do what they want to do. I don't like that shit. <laughs> Spend all my damn money. All that I know. Nah. You know who you reminded me of now. Who that? Bernie Mac. Well, I'll tell you one motherfucking thing. <laughs> Y'all got to pray for me. These are bitches of king. I'll beat you to the white meat shows. <laughs> I'll push your head to the motherfucking white meat shows. What? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, man, that's actually, that, that was my favorite comedian, man. Rest in peace, Bernie Mac, man. That, that was my Boy, guy. I, I pulled that one out of my hat, didn't I? Better know it. Well, I think what it is, Jay, is that I love comedy. Yeah. My favorite my favorite movie, Harlem Nights. One of my favorite comedians, uh Bernie Mac, Red Fox. Yeah, Red, Red. Fox. Hey, Red Fox. <laughs> Buddy of mine quit smoking the other day, got run over by a tobacco truck. <laughs> Damn. That's the old school. Better know it. I met Rodney Dangerfield. You know Rodney oh, you Dangerfield? Met Rodney. Yeah. Rodney was dope. Rodney was yeah. definitely dope. He asked me if I had any weed. No. <laughs> yes, he did. Hell no. Yes, he did. But I'm not going to tell any more of that story. 
Yeah, yeah, we don't need that. No. We don't need that. We don't need that. It's like those yeah. kids. Fuck them kids. Well, man, it's up to you. What else do you want to tell the people? Um, man, I want everybody, man, everybody that watches, man, make sure y'all go follow me, man, please, on all social media platforms. Uh, at J the Funny Man. That's all one word. J D A F U N N Y M A N. On TikTok, it's uh J the Funny Man F L A, as in for Florida. So man, y'all go follow me before I beat y'all ass. Yeah. But no, nah, I'm just I'm just kidding. But yeah, man, y'all look out for me. A lot of things coming up. I got the cruise coming up. Um, I'll be in Augusta, Georgia, in September. Yeah, uh, that. on, That's a big show too. Yeah, with uh Reginald Ballard. Uh, that's a big show in Augusta, George. I saw that. Yeah, he, he played. Uh, he played the character of Bruh Man on Martin. Yeah, yeah. Martin, yeah, man. Um, that's a uh, big show. That's a big one. Yeah. Got something coming up with him. Um, man. By the when I get back from this cruise, I know it's a lot of things lined up. Yeah. Um, they just they a lot of people. I just you know I put a lot of stuff on hold because I want to go ahead and knock this cruise out. How long is the cruise? How long is the cruise for? Go for a week. Okay, so a week. Yeah, we going for a week. week so I, have I'll you, be have you ever been on a cruise before, Jay? Yeah, I cruise all the time, but this is this will be my first time, you know, performing, being pretty much center of attention. So I'm I'm looking okay. forward to that. I'm I'm definitely looking forward. And that's that. wonderful. That's wonderful. Absolutely. Well, beyond I, the I'm, cruise I'm, in Augusta, Georgia, and the merchandise and everything, I want to make sure we covered everything because you know, at the end, I want to know what is your favorite comedy minute. Oh, to pick one. <laughs> oh, okay, we well, no, no. Do a couple. Do two. Do three. I don't okay. give a shit. I I I I'll give you two. Uh, I my my two. first my first my first comedy minute man was when when I was uh I was I was young 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 young. Um, okay. one thing um I'm I'm allergic to uh I'm allergic to shellfish, so I can't eat like crabs. Oh and my god! None of that type of stuff. But all my family can. And I remember, man, I was little. My mom was uh. My mom, they were doing a, a crab thing. They were cooking uh crabs and whatnot in the house. Uh, me and my cousin, we we taking a bath, we taking a bath or whatever, and we get out. And my cousin, he always for some reason every time he he like to run around the house, no clothes on, just naked, fucking around. And um, my mom, she in the kitchen, they doing the crabs. They, you know, they dumping the blue crabs in the in in the pot. I've done it. I, let me stop. I love. Uh, we've done that. Fresh crabs. Yeah, you know, done it. Love, love crabs, love clams, love. I love shellfish. Yeah. So one of the crabs hit the floor. <laughs> the crab hit the floor. My cousin, he 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 like three years older than me. So he he brave. He want to be the brave one, man. He run over there and he plopped down and he picked that crab up. I don't know why he did that, man. That crab snapped this goddamn dick so goddamn. <laughs> and you should see he reeling in that crab just flailing. Man, that was one of the funniest things ever happened, that, man. It, you it know is, what, Jay? That is a great comedy minute. That is a perfect comedy minute. I, re I remember that because from what I was know, in your description, your description was spot on that anyone that watches this or like anyone that's ever done live crabs, and those little bastards do get out of the pot. I've seen them climb yep. out of the pot. Yep. And to see that, I can picture that. So it's good. And they don't yep. let go. That's yep. something that stood not let go. That they, they let go, man. That, that was, I still to this day we talk about that thing and we we that's, laugh that's so hard. Shit. And it's crazy because the the my second uh comedy minute actually deals okay. with sort of like the same situation. Okay. Um, and this one actually just happened in October. Okay. Um, me and my manager, I'm 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 into I'm into scary stuff like horror movies. Okay. Uh, haunted houses. Like I I like all that type of stuff. Right. So, right. Over here in Florida, we have uh, the theme parks. Right. So they do like, you know, they do a uh, little Halloween themed uh, yeah, yeah. little nights and stuff. So me and my manager, we decide we're going to go to uh, a theme park here in Florida called Bush Gardens. I know we Bush go to Gardens. Bush Gardens and it's for Halloween night. And, right. you know, we both, we we dress good. I, and I, I just bought this this brand new pair of shorts. Now, mm -hmm. mind you, I'm, I'm six foot five. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm six foot five, so the okay. shorts are all up above the knee, right. you know, real high. And we decide we want to get on this ride. It's called a, it's called a cheetah hunt. Man, we get on the ride. It has like the buckle uh, across your waist, and right. it also has the buckle across your chest. 
I know it. So, mind you, we get on this ride. It's a fast ride. It's it's, it's called a cheetah, uh, the cheetah hunt. So it moves as a cheetah would move. So you you know you jerking yeah. a lot. You moving a lot. Right. I can't tell you how the hell this happens. We go, we ride, and I'm sitting there. We ride, and we having a good time. And I got these baby shorts on, and all of a sudden, we hit this long turn, and out of nowhere, my secret flies right out the bottom of my damn shorts while we're on the ride. So as we're on the ride, I'm literally riding. I'm trying to put it back in my damn shorts, but it's just flailing all over. We spin this way, it fling this way. We go this way, it fling that way. Like, it's just out, and I'm looking at my manager like, Bitch, help me. Like, you see it hanging out like, help. He's looking like, I'm not touching that shit. So we just ride, and it's just flailing. And, and, and the damn, it's a couple in front of us. They hear me saying, like, it's out. It's out. The girl, she's on the roller coaster. She turns around, and I'm like, hey, don't turn around, because you will not be leaving with him if you turn around and see what the hell hanging out. And she's like, she... At that point, she pays no more attention to the ride. She's just like this, trying to see my shit is just flailing all. I'm like, oh my God. So they finally stopped the ride. They finally stopped the ride and we sit in there, but I, I'm still buckled in. They haven't pressed the button to release the the the, the, the yeah, latches for it. Is still hanging out? Man, still hanging out, man. The damn worker comes back there to like, undo my damn I'm like bro don't come back here like, I'm, I'm telling him, like don't come man he coming he looks down he's like what the fuck oh my god it's just dang. I'm like I told you not to come back here man but yeah, that that that, yeah. that was I... <laughs> that, that was not that yeah, was not I have so many questions What's that? Words, you have shorts on that are so short or how how does your penis actually get out of the shorts Oh, wait, because of the, I got, the, I, I got it. You're flying around, and your shorts slid down, and your dick flew out. They're like loose. They're like loose leg at the bottom. So, okay. and then the underwear I had on, they were like loose leg. They're not like tight to my okay. leg. So, I guess all the ride and it, it made my underwear leg like rise up along with the shorts leg, and he just decided to get a mind of his own. He's like, I'm getting some air while we. <laughs> on this damn ride, and I, I I have not wore those shorts since that yeah, day. I, I mean, look, unless unless you got a you know a date, you know. <laughs> you yeah, a, yeah. But I got you know. even with a date, I got to make sure she down for it. Like I can't just walk out. But I haven't I haven't been on a date, and actually I haven't been on a date in about a year now. So really, no, nah, I'm a single man out here, no girlfriend, no no. Well, nothing. That was my next question. I thought, well, maybe you're involved now. No, nah, I'm 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 a single man. Um, not really looking right now. Um, trying to yeah. focus on comedy because it's a certain kind of woman, man. I need a woman that's going, you know, support yeah. and believe in what I'm doing. Yeah. Not nobody that's just gonna feel a certain type of way because right. I'm in some kind of spotlight or people are talking to me or you know anything like that. So she definitely got to be understand like you know what I do and be willing to support and believe in what I got going on. You know when you said that. Uh, have you ever heard a, you maybe have, maybe have a comedian, Ron White? No. Ron White, uh, he's a, like a Southern kind of hillbilly kind of guy. And he talks about, cause he, he was married and he does comedy and he goes all over the country and, you know, she nagging at him and this and that. And he said, one time he said, the, she said, I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm not, yeah, I'm not trying to be a bitch. She said, well, you, then you're gifted. <laughs> yeah. He does a whole bit about it. He said, you mean you're not even trying? Well, then you're gifted. <laughs> because you're right, to have a woman that's going to stand by you when you're in Augusta, Georgia, and she's in Florida, it's going to take a special woman. Yeah, and like I don't mind if she's like you know she comes with me and she's there when she can right. be there. Just now, I, I you know I was married, like I was. Okay, um, yeah, me like, too. I was married once. She 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 didn't um she didn't believe in me. She actually told me out of her own mouth that you know she didn't believe in me. So yeah, well fuck her then. Pardon my French. Fuck her. Now I'm a single. And no, uh, and you know what? She, she gives me she, a beautiful daughter. So okay, yeah, but you know what? She has to pay when she comes to see you. <laughs> 
I know. Now you gotta pay. But I yeah, doubt she'll now come. You pay. You pay to come I doubt to she'll come, but it's gonna mess her up. No, when no, all no. Of her friends are like, oh, we're going to CJ. We're going to CJ. It's like, wow, yeah, Jay's yeah, on yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah, wow, this movie just came out. Jay's in it. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's, yeah, it's well, cool. two tickets for the kids, but mom, you gotta pay your own way. There you go. Yeah, there you go. man. Well, listen, Whatever. we're running out of time, so. If you can, can you stick out, stick around for a second? Because I want to stop the recording and I want to talk to you off the record for a bit if we can. I got you. Is that okay? Did we, hey, okay. did you have fun? I had a good time, man. I appreciate everything. God I had a great you. time. God bless you, man. And I wish you nothing but the best. And I'm telling you, I'm going to do everything I can. Uh, I'll even, you know, get one of those shirts and wear it. Fuck the kids or whatever it is. I'm going to get one of those from you and I'm going to wear it. I do live shows, so I'll wear it one night and mention you. In. Yeah, actually, I some I did forget to mention, man. I actually got a TV show coming out uh, soon. It's called Class Clown. Uh, it's pretty much like a competition where everybody comes in and we crack jokes and talk about each other okay. uh, to see who gets voted Class Clown. So that'll uh, we start filming that this month, April, also. So look out for Class Clown. Guess who was Class Clown in his high school? Uh, me. Guess who else? You. I'll tell you no. what I'm going to do. On Facebook this Thursday, Throwback Thursday, I'll post the yearbook picture of me and the class clown. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I because, you know, you're funny's funny. I don't give a shit, you know. Funny's funny. Absolutely. That's why Harlem Nights and, you know, different things, I don't give a shit. Funny's funny. It is. All right, my friend. So class clown, and I'll put all the other links. Jay, the funny man, you're the best. Hang tight for a second. I'm just going to stop the recording. All right. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Jay, and I wish you all the best. Mine too. Thank you so much.